Do you have a lawnmower that has floppy, loose, wobbly wheels on it like this? They're just straight up worn out. Now, I do understand that you can buy a brand new wheel like this on Amazon for like six bucks. As a matter of fact, I do have some links right underneath this video in the description so you can check out some of my links if you want. But, but, I'm going to show you today how you can fix your old wheel and they're going to last even longer than buying a new one. This is a great tip trick. You're going to love this. Hey everybody, thanks for coming back to Steve Small Engine Saloon again. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, there's my website right there again, stevesmallenginesaloon.com. Check it out when you get a chance. Now you're saying, how long is this going to take? Well, if you're doing all four wheels today, it's going to take you probably exactly one full beer. You need your beer. You also need some copper pipe. This is standard copper plumbing pipe, half inch piping. This is type L. I know there's some different types out there. We're using type L today. This works perfectly. So we got that. We need to get that wheel off of there. Let's take that off. All right, we got that wheel off right there. Now you'll see there's a shoulder on here like that. Check this out, that pipe right there fits just nicely right over top. Like, look at that. Fits on there nice, but you can still spin it. It's perfect. Now, what you want to do, you need something to mark this pipe with. Uh, a Sharpie, I'm going to use a Sharpie. You can use just a screwdriver or something to scratch it with as long as you can mark this pipe. Now, you put it along the side like that, right on that shoulder. Don't mark it even with that shoulder go in a little bit a little bit shorter we're talking like an eighth of an inch a couple millimeters so you want to mark it like right there like that if you if you go too long on this it's going to uh, jam on there when you put that wheel back on a little bit shorter is better than longer now cut that pipe right where you got it i'm going to use one of these uh, little it's actually for cutting this pipe you can use a hacksaw if you want to. I like using this still because it doesn't leave any burrs. If you use a hacksaw, you're going to have to take those burrs off to get a piece of sandpaper or something like that and and uh, and get those burrs off. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Here she comes. There we go. Now, you see, we got a little copper bushing for the inside of your wheel now. We need to press this bushing now into the wheel, but obviously it's not gonna go in there no matter how worn out your wheel is, it's still not gonna go in there. We need to drill this wheel out now. Five eighths drill bit, got one right here. Drill that wheel out. Hone it out, hone it out real good, like that. Now, that little copper bushing, we wanna push that in there, and it's gonna be press fit in here. We get it started in there. Now, you're gonna to have to pound that in there because we want it to be tight on the inside of this wheel. Don't use a hammer because copper is soft. You're gonna smash the end of it. Use some, a block of wood, uh, a, a brass hammer, something like that, if you want. Hey, I got a snap-on pry bar right here with a plastic handle on it. <laughs> Doesn't actually take that much effort, but now what do we have? Look at that. We have the old wheel right now with a pressed-in copper bushing in it. Put that right back on there. Slides right on, nut. Look at that, rolls nice. Look at this, look at the wiggling. That is like night and day. 
Yeah, it still wiggles a teeny little bit, right? But it has to wiggle a little bit. Otherwise, it would be too tight and it wouldn't ever spin around. That is a huge difference right there. Now, hey, what about this though? What about greasing this now? It works great. Put some comments down right underneath this video in the comment section. Give me your opinion. Should you grease this or not? I know that some of you are going to say, yeah, grease it. It's going to work way better. It's going to last longer. Some of you are going to say, don't grease it because grease will attract all the abrasives, sand and whatever, and it'll turn the grease into grinding compound and, and make it actually wear out faster. I actually don't really have an opinion on that. I want you guys to tell me your opinion, whether to grease that or not. Well, I really hope that you like this little tip, this little trick. Give me that thumbs up button would be really appreciated. I tried this for the very first time about seven years ago, and I can absolutely guarantee you that your old wheel doing this with the bushing in there is going to last longer than a new one. Subscribe to my channel if you already have, and give me that thumbs up button, share it with your friends, all that stuff. Hey, if you want to watch something else right now, check this video out right there. Click on that one next. Hey, I knew I, I told you I was going to take a beer to do that, but I didn't do all four wheels. So that was only like two sips for me. <laughs> Till the next video, guys. Steve out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.